In this segment, we're going to talk about the Hubble tuning fork of galaxy classifications. Now, Hubble observed many different galaxies, and he grouped them into three broad classes, ellipticals, lenticulars, and spirals. Then he broke down those three broad classes into subclasses, and he arranged them into this morphological classification scheme that followed the shape of a tuning fork, and hence it was called a Hubble tuning fork. Now just to remind you, a tuning fork is used in music, and it has this shape. It is a two-pronged steel device used by musicians, which vibrates when struck to give a note of a specific pitch. So Hubble observed these ellipticals and lenticulars and spiral galaxies and arranged them into the shape of this tuning fork. So let's go look at these. The first galaxy classification we're going to look at is ellipticals. And Hubble broke down the visible images that he saw into eight subcategories, numbered 0 through 7. So he gave each of the galaxy a E classification, E for elliptical, and then he assigned a number after it. He assigned the number 0 if the galaxy appeared round, and he assigned the number 7 if the galaxy appeared elliptical, highly elliptical. So I'm going to exaggerate the shapes here, where a 0 is going to be this round shape, and the 7 is going to be this cigar shape. So in between E0 and E7, he had classifications like E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, and E7. And each time the number increased, the object became more elliptical. So an E3 might look round but slightly elliptical, and an E5 would look even more elliptical, till finally you got to the E7 shape. So now let's turn to the lenticulars. Of the lenticulars, he grouped them into two subcategories, S zeros and SB zeros. He gave the S category because they look kind of like spiral galaxies, but he gave numbers because they more look like ellipticals as well. So they look somewhat between a spiral galaxy and an elliptical galaxy. The S zero category he gave because the bulge seemed round, and he noticed that there was a disk through the galaxy. The SB0, he noticed that the center looked more rectangular, and it had a disk through it. Now let's look at the spiral galaxies. Let's first look at the round bulge center spiral galaxies. He generally grouped them into how large the bulge was and how tight the arms were. So if there was a very large round bulge with tight spiral arms, then he called this an S -S A. If the center was smaller and the arms more loosely away from the center, then he called that an S B. And then if this center was really small with really loose arms, then he called that an SC. So S is for spiral, and the letter classification is for how big the center is compared to how tight the arms are. Now let's look at the barred centers. Same thing if the, if the center or the nucleus of the galaxy appeared more like a bar, like a Hershey bar or some kind of candy bar. If the arms were really tight and the, the bulge rather large, then it was an SB, B for the rectangular bar, and then the A classification. Smaller center, looser arms, and SB, small b. Really small center, really wide arms, SB, small c. So now if you look carefully, this appears to be the shape of a tuning fork. Now what about the last category, the irregulars? Anything that didn't fit into the elliptical classification or the lenticular classification or the spiral classification was put into the irregular classification. And so we will draw the irregular classification as this unshaped blob out into the, into the center and off to the right of the tuning fork. 
So this is your Hubble tuning fork of galaxy classifications as how the galaxies appear in visible light. And it helps you get, give you an idea of how to, uh, how to remember the shape of the galaxies and their classifications. Let's look at some real examples of, vis of, of visual light galaxies. Let's first look at M89. M89 is an elliptical galaxy and notice how round it is. It is an E0 classification. This is taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. Now let's compare this galaxy with an E5. Here's another E5 galaxy, or an E5 galaxy, as viewed from HST, Hubble Space Telescope. And notice how elliptical in shape it is. Let's compare the, the HST image of E5, of an E5 type galaxy, with a lenticular. This image from your textbook has an S0 classification indicating that it's a lenticular galaxy. Now let's compare the lenticular to the spirals. Here's an example of an SA classification. This object is called NGC 3627 from the New Galactic Catalog, or 3627, or NGC for short. It is number 3627 in the um, sequence of objects observed in the NGC catalog. Notice that you see that there is a very large bulge. And notice compared to the spiral arms, the spiral arms appear to be really tight, tight spiral arms. Hence, this is given the SA classification. Let's compare this with an SC. So here's an example of an SC category. It is NGC 2997. Notice compare the bulge size, it's small. And notice the arms, that they appear further away from the nucleus, or the bulge. Hence, this is given the SC category. Let's compare these with the SB, or the, the rectangular centers of spirals. We'll look at one example of a barred uh, spiral. This classification is given the S, SB for barred spiral, and is given a small b as the subcategory. Notice the more rectangular center, and notice the not really tight arms, but not really wide arms either. So it's given the S, capital S, capital B, small b, subcategory. And as you can see, they kind of fit into this Hubble tuning fork diagram. And what about the irregulars? Let's go look at an example of the irregulars. As shown in your textbook, the irregular classic example is the small Magellanic Cloud. And notice it doesn't really fit in either the elliptical category, the lenticular category, or the spiral category. So it's in its own catch-all category. It's the whatever's left. If it doesn't fit into the ellipticals, the spirals, or the lenticulars, it gets put into the irregular category. And this is your general, general classification and arrangement that Hubble had created as a, as a pictorial representation of the different types of galaxies and subcategories of galaxies, known as the Hubble Tuning Fork Diagram.